Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for April 8th, 2020. This is a reading for all signs for the collective, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I hope everybody is enjoying this powerful, potent uh, full moon energy in Libra. Um, so let's go ahead and invite our spirit. Let's invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, and spirit guides to this space to deliver the messages that the collective needs to hear for April 8th, 2020. Messages for the collective for April 8th, 2020 for our highest good. What messages do we have for the collective for April 8th, 2020 for our highest good? Messages for the Collective, April 8th, 2020, for the Collective, for our highest good. Hmm. I've got these two little stones hanging out. <laughs> Forgot about those. Ooh. Okay. Overall energy is the Queen of Swords. So look at that again. This seems to be a theme. We seem to get these divine partnerships popping up in this reading. Now, swords don't always, but sometimes can represent ex-partners um, and have to do with an ex. Um, and this is interesting because now we're having the queen showing up in the upright and the king in reverse. So this would be divine feminine energy that's balanced, standing in her power, especially with this Libra energy, with this full moon, is about Venusian energy, love and passion and beauty and how others see us. And it's all about balancing out these relationships. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, so it speaks directly to this full moon, um, but it may also be qualities that you have in your chart or that you're dealing with or that you're exhibiting or that somebody else is exhibiting. All right. So the Queen of Swords is showing up in the upright. Underneath, we do have the um, King of Cups in reverse, which is about creativity, about um, being a visionary, um, uh, being in touch with your emotions and your psychic abilities and this very nurturing and loving feeling. So some of you might be feeling sort of the opposite of that or might be feeling quite emotionally imbalanced. Now in, in the astrology, if you guys do some research, there are some pretty crazy aspects happening right now that's going to create emotional upheaval. Um, and imbalance. And so this moon being a super moon is the closest to the earth at this time or in out of the year of the super moons, full moons. And um, it's going to really affect us emotionally. So there's going to be a real need for grounding. Underneath that, we do have the Knave of Chalices, which I love because, you know, he is all about getting in touch with his emotions. So some of us might feel like, might catch ourselves and say, okay, wait, this is something I really have to work on. Okay, bringing that balance back into our lives. And the Queen of Swords does take a little bit more of a clinical approach to uh, what's going on in, within, and around her. She's somebody who's been through a lot. She's somebody who leads with her head, not so much her heart. Okay, so for some of you, it might be might require pulling back a little bit if you're finding yourself feeling emotionally imbalanced at this time. And then we have the lovely Virgo card of the Hermit, um, which is all about using your own inner guiding light. So just don't allow yourself to be too affected by the outside world or by outside energies. Do check your aura for any leaks. Um, and, you know, to really try to, you know, what I love about this is she has that sword on the ground and it's about that balance. It's about authenticity. It's about standing in your truth, but it's also just about allowing that divine white light to come from above and, to, you know, to balance out your chakras and provide you with, you know, the essential information that you need at this time. Okay. And to receive the benefits of this powerful 
uh, Libra full moon. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, the first thing right off the bat, I noticed we do have some earth energy and the Virgo card was in there, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have our Cancer card of Chariot and then we also have more Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The Six of Pentacles is all about balance. Again, we do have a divine partnership. So for some of you, this is going to deal with counterpart relationships. Again, that can be soulmate, it can be twin flame, it can be life partner, it can be co-workers, whatever it might be. Um, well, co-workers aren't usually our counterpart relationships, but this Libra full moon is really highlighting how we coexist with others, and that's in all sorts of relationships. For many of you, it will be a marriage or a soulmate or a twin flame journey that this is pertaining to. And this is all about giving and receiving love. So what does love mean to you? How do you give? How do you receive love? What did you learn? How did you learn to give and receive love from your parents? And how might that be affecting your relationships now? Okay. And again, that's not the blame game on your parents, right? It's all about just taking a look at, you know, what is the, what are the learned behaviors and how have you applied that in your life? Okay. And the importance of, you know, of being in a very equally balanced relationship, whether it's time, energy, love, or resources. And this full moon in Libra is doing just that. So it doesn't surprise me. We do get the eight of pentacles in reverse again, which as you guys know this week, um, it's come up a lot. This sort of the sense of lethargy, the sense of exhaustion that I feel that, you know, a lot of a lot of that energy I'm channeling from the collective feeling. Um, <clears throat> I think a lot of people dealing with world events have been in panic mode or have been, you know, in the self quarantine mode and are starting to feel really tired. Okay. Because there isn't a work life balance or there just isn't balance within their relationships or they're just feeling, you know, um, this frenetic energy, um, or allowing frenetic energy to their interior. The eight of pentacles is all about putting hard work into something, a relationship, into yourself, into your home, whatever it might be, into your career. And um, it's about doing the work and putting one foot in front of the other. But I feel like you, the collective, is a lot of, a lot of us are feeling this exhaustion. Um, and like that, it just kind of like the, the work is never ending. Okay, whatever the work might mean for you. Um, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse takes me back to the Seven of Pentacles, which is kind of cool because I've got the Six and then we've got the Seven sort of imaginary hanging out here. And then we've got the Eight and that's a beautiful progression. So make sure that you pull back and you do look at all the progress that you're making. Okay, because you really are. What are you learning? Um, you know, what have you learned? What are you working on? That it is taking you places, even if it feels like it's not. And the eight of the seven of pentacles is all about introspection and patience and planning. So it's, you know, asking you to be patient at this time. Um, don't let your emotions get the best of you, especially if you feel like you've been on a roller coaster. And every full moon can be quite emotional for those of us who um, you know, who are, who are very sensitive and the, um, and it's about, you know, that, that introspection and then also looking at where you are putting in your time, your energy, your resources, your money, your love. Um, and is it worth it? Okay. For a lot of us, it will be because it looks like here we have, you know, we have success, we have moving forward. This is, you know, and I, I didn't see this before, but six, eight, seven, Okay, so we have the six, seven, eight. We might have to go back. We have the imaginary seven of pentacles hanging out here, if you guys are with me. <laughs> I know this is getting a little confusing, but you know, we have the six, seven, eight, and then going back to the seven, going back to trusting yourself, trusting that you're going to be successful, trusting that you have the experience, the strength, and the will. It's your will alone to change your reality. Okay. Um, to to create your own reality and whatever shifts in energy you might be experiencing and if you've lost your job then just be really confident that you're actually going to find something that's more fulfilling and better for you okay for example um, but that all of these changes and these shifts are actually for the positive and we're going to feel a lot more compression and restriction you know in the coming days or weeks or months even um, and so try to figure out how you can be successful 
successful, how you can, because if you are constantly rebelling against these restrictions and this compression, it's going to create this discord within. And so spirits like, look at, you know, look at how you can turn this in your favor, no matter how hard it might be. Okay. And I, and I love that. And because it's saying you will be successful, you can do this. This is actually going to be a really awesome period for you. What I like about this is this chariot is, um, you know, he, these two, these two lions are facing each other and, you know, I feel like they're kind of looking at each other and realizing we're in this together. We've got to do this. You know, the power that we have, the two of us together is so strong. And that goes back to this counterpart here here. So it, and again, it could be a marriage partner. It could be your soulmate. It could be twin flame. It could be a best friend. Um, it could also just be your masculine and your feminine energies where your feminine is kind of balanced because we saw in the other reading, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but we saw in that reading that the feminine was reversed and the masculine was in the upright. So look at how this play together, okay, where the balance is necessary and remember to do that full body scan and check and see, you know, remember our two tissue holds memory, our DNA memory, a memory of trauma, uh, sadness, disappointment from this life and from other lives. So really balancing that is going to be so essential. And this is what this Libra full moon is all about. Um, in the outcome position, you get the King of Swords in reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And, you know, the King of Swords in reverse can be a little bit, um, it's like a narcissist, somebody who's very selfish, somebody who's quite abusive, abusively or physically. So some of you might be lashing out um, and, and, you know, because of feeling this restriction and that compression that I was talking about, and because there's some sort of emotional imbalance and there's a real need to correct that. Um, and it doesn't mean necessarily that you're hurting people around you, um, or, you know, it could be the way that you're treating yourself. If you're finding yourself, you know, just take, check yourself, how you're talking to yourself, the, what you're thinking to yourself, how you're reacting to any obstacles. Um, because, you know, we, this is a time when we will be needing patience and really more than anything patience with ourselves patience with achieving our success whatever that success means whether it's you know becoming into union with another person or another soul whether that's financially whether that's spiritually okay so this is a very this is a, a reading that's for much more than April 8th I, I kind of felt this would be a powerful reading uh, when I started and it certainly has turned out to be. So let's go ahead and pull additional messages for the collective April 8th, 2020. Okay. So we get deception and envy, seven of swords. Look at that. The seven coming out. <laughs> So some of, I love this, I, this, the numbers here, we have two seven. So 77 is the number. Um, it's about your spiritual journey. It's the path of the mystic. Um, it's spiritual leadership, truth, and purification of the ego. So see where ego might be affecting you right now. And remember, the ego doesn't like change. Ego would prefer to stay in the comfort zone. And we're being asked to, to move out of our comfort zone, and we're being restricted and compressed at the same time. Okay, so just make sure, you know, take off your mask, stand, we see this with the King of Swords, this masculine energy in the reverse, you know, maybe not standing in, in, in their authenticity, um, maybe not speaking the truth, lashing out. So again, if anybody is lashing out at this time, because it's this, it's this reaction to the sort of compression and restriction that you might be feeling at this time. Remember, you know, to try to see through that and see through if that's you as well. Okay. Interesting. And then we get triumph. Look at that. We have the cancer card coming out two times here, the chariot card. This is victory. You are going to be successful. We have three sevens on deck. I love this energy. You guys, again, this is a lot of, a lot of us. This has to do with your spiritual journey. Again, a spirit wants me to remind you that you guys who are listening are spiritual warriors and don't forget the power that you guys wield. I mean, look at these Look at the energy in these cards. You guys, we have the king and the queen of swords, both holding these swords. The chariot, who is the ultimate warrior. Ooh, really strong. You guys are way stronger than you might, you admit or you, you even realize. 
And then we have temptation. We have 16. All right. So this is all about, you know, this is Capricorn energy. Um, this is all about, you know, just doing that introspective work, taking a look and see, you know, are you reacting to, you know, the compression and the restriction and how are you reacting? Are you turning this into a positive experience or is it something that, you know, are you sort of catching yourself in this sort of downward spiral and if so it's you know right now our emotions with this libra full moon are completely heightened so it's going to be hard to get out of that so try to catch yourself take a look and see like i said before where do you experience any imbalance it might be the masculine who's experiencing imbalance and we all have masculine sides to us okay so it's like that decision making um you know, that yang energy within us that might be feeling a little bit imbalanced or might be leading us a little bit astray, if that makes sense with this temptation card. You know, it could be, you know, indulging in alcohol or food, not exercising or just sort of negative thinking. And again, it could be this, you know, maybe you're, you're, you're really talking down to yourself. You might even find yourself reacting to the people that you're, you know, that you're with in a negative way and thinking afterwards, like, that's not who I am. You know, um, it might warrant an apology as well from you or to you. Okay. You guys get friendship. Yeah. Lovely. So this definitely community building community, even if that, that community is online. All right. And then we also have focus. I love that because this focus energy, the charioteer is extremely focused on what they want to achieve. All right. And they're going to be successful as soon as they gain that focus, as soon as they get that focus. Um, friendship is again, how are you treating yourself? Would you allow someone to say what you say to yourself, to your best friend, or to your children, or to your parents, okay, or to somebody that you love, all right, and most likely, no, you wouldn't, so for those of you who find this king of swords energy is the masculine side of you, where you're being quite hard on yourself, it's time to shift your focus, and it's time to shift your focus on reacting, okay, and being, you know, even, you know, being anchored in this, you know, an ego energy and shift it to where do you want to be successful? What steps can you take to be successful? Where do you want to, where do you want to focus your will and your desire? What is it that you really desire? What is it that you really want? And you're going to see that chariot energy is very fast moving, very focused energy. And, you know, the swords energy of the queen and the king of swords, remember, they're sort of head over heart thinking. So they're going to sort of take the emotions that are troubling for them or causing issues and as stumbling blocks and put them off to the side because there's something bigger here that needs to happen. All right. Wow. Final message for the collective, April 8th, 2020. You guys get cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Yeah, exactly. You do. You already do. And that's so clear with this chariot energy. You have the answers within. You already know what you need to do. You just, I feel like you've just gotten a little bit off track, a little bit confused, or a little bit stuck in reacting, again, to this compression and this restriction. But you guys are going to spread your wings and fly. There's no doubt about it. This has success written all over it. You have a little, a few little hurdle, hurdles here. Okay, and it's going to really require you figuring out, you know, not figuring out, but peeling back some layers and like, who are you really? What, what is your truth? Are you standing in your truth? Is your, are you aligning with your truth, with your actions and your words? And, and, but you're going to do it. You're going to do it. I'm going to leave it there with you guys. I love you so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for being on this journey with me, for all the love and support you show this channel. And um, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.